Hi, Carmen here. And I wanted to create this video because Sienna and I were talking and she was actually really interested in knowing more about how to read a Nutrition Facts label. And being a dietitian and having a background in nutrition, I said, well, okay, why don't we do that? I have two different items here. One is instant ramen, which I'm sure that most of you have had before. It's like the dry noodle packages that you put in boiling water and you have a soup base and it's instant noodles. And we're gonna go over the Nutrition Facts label for that and then also for some pasta. A lot of people, they get really confused about the nutrition label. They don't really know how to read it, they don't really understand it, but there's actually a lot of information on this label that you maybe you're not aware of. So the first thing you want to do is look at the serving size of the package. Okay, serving size could actually be very misleading because the serving size could be a very, very small amount. It might be like half of a cookie or one tablespoon of something. And it's, it might not be the actual quantity that you would eat in that particular setting. But it's something for you to be aware of because that serving size determines all of the, the grams of fat, the grams of um, carbohydrate that's in that particular amount. So be very, very careful when looking at the numbers here. So this serving size is one package. And then you can also look at servings per, per container. So this one has five. Makes sense because there's five packages. And for one of these packages, the total fat for one package of instant ramen is 23 grams of fat. And that is 20%, 26% of your daily value. So that's based on a 2000 calorie diet. Not everybody should be having 2000 calories. Some people should be having less and some people should be having more. So it's kind of just a rough estimate of how much fat um, coming from this one package is contributing to how much you should be having in one day. What's your daily um, requirement for fat or daily requirement for any of these other um, ingredients. So 23 grams of fat and underneath it, the fat will be broken up into saturated fat or trans fat. Now saturated fat is the bad fat. And then you have your trans fat, which is a man-made fat, but is also bad for you. And so they put them on the, the label because, well, they want to inform you that these are the fats that you should look out for. So this saturated fat content is 10 grams of fat and the trans fat is zero grams. So if the total fat is 23 grams and they're only listing 10 grams of fat coming from saturated or trans fat, then that means there's 13 grams left of fat that are, is not being, um, it's not being listed here. And that means that those other fats are probably monounsaturated fats or polyunsaturated fats, which are better fats. Um, although polyunsaturated fats, there are some good and bad ones. But I think it's important to look at that total fat because this one, 26% of your daily value is kind of high. That's, that's a lot coming from just one of these packages. And that's not incorporating all the rest of the food that you're eating throughout the day. The next line is the cholesterol. And that's often something that we're concerned about as well. You want to eat less of that. The sodium, this one has 2,090 milligrams of sodium, which contributes to 68% of your daily value for sodium for based on a 2,000 calorie diet, which is a lot. That's more than half of what you should be eating in one day. So 2,090 milligrams, that's about a teaspoon of salt. When we're talking about carbohydrate, and let's take a look at this rotini pasta, the total carbohydrate for this um, which is two ounces or about one eighth of the box is 42 grams of carbohydrate and that's 14% of your daily value. The ones that are focused on here is the dietary fiber and dietary fiber can be broken down into soluble and insoluble fiber. Both have uh, unique um, properties when it enters the body but both are very good for you and fiber actually doesn't contribute to any caloric intake. So you can actually subtract this fiber content from to total carbohydrate in order to get your true total carbohydrate intake for um, this food. So that's why fiber is really good because if you're on a low carb diet 
or you're trying to lower your carbs, then you'll probably want to eat foods that are much higher in fiber. You might see a list of vitamins underneath there. Vitamin A, calcium, vitamin C, iron. Those are pretty common vitamins and minerals that people want to know, you know, but it's not as important. Ingredients. Ingredients is good to look at, especially if there's certain ingredients that you want to avoid or that you don't want to take in. Um, a lot of times if you're looking for something that's very natural, it will have very little ingredients because there's less additives. One thing that you should know is that the very, the order in which um, nutrients are listed is based on what is the highest concentration in the package. So for example, the first ingredient is enriched wheat flour. So that means there's a lot of enriched wheat flour. It goes in order of content. So that's a one way that you can look and say, well, does this have a lot of MSG in it? And if you look at the soup base, the MSG is actually the second ingredient, meaning that's probably a lot, you know, a lot more in there than there is this citric acid or riboflavin, which is at the bottom of the ingredients. So that's something to be very aware of. So I hope you learned a lot about how to re read the nutrition facts. And I think that by just understanding just carbohydrate or fats, fiber, sodium, that can help you with trying to figure out whether something is going to um, be in line with your nutrition goals or if it's not. And so something like a fruit or vegetable obviously doesn't have a nutrition facts label, but for a lot of processed foods and a lot of packaged foods, it's going to have to have that information on there and so you can use that um, to make the best judgment for yourself.